A city with no delivery trucks, run by a single AI brain, is rising from nothing in China. In this half a trillion dollar mega project, packages travel in self-driving pods through 160 kilometers of underground highways. The streets are built like a sponge to absorb floods, and the lampposts have sensors that watch everything from air quality to traffic. It's a city designed from the ground up to be perfect, a real-life science fiction experiment for 5 million people. The engineering is groundbreaking, but it raises a critical question. Can a city planned by an algorithm ever truly feel like home? Just a few years ago, the land where this megacity now stands was quiet farmland and wetlands. But in Beijing, a hundred kilometers away, a crisis was boiling over. The capital had become a victim of its own success, choked by what officials called big city disease. With over 21 million people, its roads were locked in permanent gridlock, the air was thick with smog, and the cost of living was pushing families out. The government needed a release valve, a way to move millions of people and entire industries out of the capital. The solution, announced suddenly in April 2017, was a state secret. It wasn't about expanding Beijing, but creating something entirely new. A city of the future, a model for the entire world, called the Xiang'an New Area. It was labeled a millennium plan, a project of national significance. But to build a utopia, you can't just fix old mistakes. You have to engineer them out from the very beginning. And the secret to Xiang'an's futuristic design isn't found in its gleaming towers. To see it, you have to look down, deep beneath the earth. Before the first skyscraper ever broke ground, engineers began a monumental task underground. They dug a vast network of tunnels, a hidden circulatory system for the entire city. These are not your typical sewer or subway tunnels. This is a 160-kilometer-long, multi-level network called a utility corridor. To put that in perspective, that's like digging a massive, multi-lane tunnel from Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia. Inside this concrete labyrinth, all the city's lifelines are neatly organized. High-voltage power cables, water mains, fiber optic lines, and heating pipes all run side by side. If a pipe breaks or a cable needs upgrading, robotic crews can fix it down here without ever digging up a single street. This alone is a huge engineering leap. No more endless road work. But the real game changer is on the upper level of these tunnels. It's an automated logistics highway. Imagine ordering a package online. Instead of a rumbling delivery truck clogging up the streets, your package is placed in a self-driving electric pod in a warehouse. This pod then zips through the underground highway, arriving at a distribution point right underneath your apartment building, where a robot might even bring it the last few meters. This system runs 24-7, silent and invisible. It means the city above can be designed for people, not for trucks. It dramatically cuts down on traffic, noise, and pollution. Even the city's trash disappears this way. Garbage is sucked from buildings through a pneumatic tube system, like a giant vacuum cleaner, into an underground waste treatment plant where it's sorted, recycled, or converted into energy. But with the city's veins and arteries completely hidden from view, what did engineers do with all that space on the surface? They turned the city itself into a thinking, breathing organism. Every single piece of Xiang'an is wired into a central nervous system called the Urban Computing Center. Think of it as the city's brain. This brain is fed a constant stream of information from millions of sensors, the city's eyes and ears. These sensors are embedded in everything. Lamp posts don't just hold lights, they monitor air quality, traffic flow, and even available parking spots. The road itself is a digital road with sensors that can talk directly to autonomous vehicles, telling them about road conditions or accidents miles ahead. All this data flows into the city brain, which creates a perfect digital copy of Xiang'an in real time. This is called a digital twin. 
If a water pipe starts to leak deep in the underground corridor, the brain knows instantly, pinpoints the exact location, and can dispatch a repair bot before a human even notices. This AI brain actively manages the city. It sees a traffic jam forming three kilometers away and preemptively changes traffic light patterns to dissolve it. It can simulate an emergency, like a fire in a skyscraper, and instantly calculate the fastest, clearest route for fire trucks while simultaneously turning all the traffic lights green along their path. This isn't just about efficiency, it's about creating a city that runs so smoothly, it feels effortless. Residents live in what are called 15-minute communities. Everything you need for daily life, a school, a clinic, a park, a grocery store, is within a 15-minute walk from your home. This is all planned and optimized by the AI. But a city of pure data and concrete can feel cold and sterile. To avoid building a high-tech prison, the planners made an even bigger bet, this time on nature. The planners decreed that only 30% of Xiang'an's land would be used for construction. The rest would be reserved for water and greenery. This led to the Millennium Forest Project, a staggering feat of ecological engineering. So far, over 23 million trees have been planted across 310 square kilometers. That is a new forest five times bigger than Manhattan. The goal is to push the city's forest coverage from a meager 11% to over 40%, creating a massive green lung that cleans the air and cools the city. But the green engineering goes even deeper. The entire city is designed to be a sponge. In a normal city, when it rains heavily, the water runs off the concrete and asphalt into drains, often overwhelming them and causing floods. Xiang'an is a sponge city. Its sidewalks and some roads are made of permeable pavement that allows water to soak right through it. It has countless rain gardens and bioswales, which are special channels filled with plants that collect, filter, and absorb rainwater. Building rooftops are covered in gardens. The goal is to capture and reuse at least 80% of all rainfall. The water is absorbed into the ground, replenishing the local water table or stored in underground tanks for irrigation. This prevents flooding and turns a rainstorm into a resource. Getting to and from this green oasis is also part of the plan. Xiang'an Station is a marvel of its own. Shaped like a water droplet on a lotus leaf, it's one of Asia's largest railway stations. From here, a new high-speed bullet train traveling at 350 kilometers per hour connects you to Beijing in just 50 minutes. The engineering is stunning. The vision is breathtaking. But all of this comes at a staggering cost. And a half a trillion dollar question hangs over the newly built streets. If you build it, will they come? Outside estimates put the total investment at over $500 billion. That's more than half a trillion dollars, enough to build the world's most expensive project, the Three Gorges Dam, 13 times over. Despite this monumental spending and the completion of the first major districts, the city's growth has been slower than hoped. By 2025, the permanent population has reached about 1.3 million, a fraction of the 5 million planned by mid-century. Many of the brand new apartment towers and office buildings remain eerily empty. Major state-owned companies have broken ground on headquarters and universities are building campuses. But convincing millions of middle-class families and ambitious entrepreneurs to leave the vibrant, chaotic heart of Beijing for a sterile, top-down planned city is proving to be the project's greatest challenge. The ultimate deadline for the city's main phase is 2035, with completion by 2050. The race is on, not just to finish the construction, but to breathe life into its perfectly engineered body. Xiong'an is the biggest urban experiment on Earth. It's a clash between a utopian vision of a perfect AI-run city and the messy, unpredictable reality of human life. Will it become the blueprint for all future cities? a masterpiece of sustainable engineering? Or will it be a monument to overambition, the world's most expensive and technologically advanced ghost town?
Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this look into the future of engineering, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive. Thanks for watching.